Do you need to create a website? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. We are going to use WordPress, the most popular way to create websites. WordPress is also extremely powerful and is used by large corporations around the world. But the reason we are using it is because WordPress is extremely easy and inexpensive. And when I say inexpensive, I mean free. Now, before you create a website, you need three things. You need some good pictures, you need some good text, and you need a good goal. In this video, our goal is to create a simple one page site to promote an imaginary bed and breakfast inn called the Make Believe Inn. As for pictures and text, I've already prepared some for you. And if you want to play along at home, just click the link in the description below. One note here, WordPress was originally designed to create blogs, websites that would feature new posts every week or even every day, or maybe even every, maybe several times a day. Well, our job in this case is to run an in, not to babysit a website. For our website, all we wanna do basically is to set it and forget it. And even though WordPress was originally designed for blogs, it also does a great job with simple static sites, which is exactly what we want. So are you ready? Did you click the subscribe button? Good. Let's get started. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is get some files to play with. We're going to open up Google Chrome. Then we're going to go to the website tech help today slash videos. Hit the edge key and we're going to go right here. The one hour website. We're going to click here to get the files to play with. Here we go. Click on this on Chrome. That's going to cause this little button to appear. And what we'll do is we're going to see that file. Go click on this button here, go to show in folder. And as you can see, it's been downloaded into our downloads folder, which is a good place for downloads to go. We want to extract the files from there. So we do what we'll just right click it, right click the file and choose extract all. Here it comes and it comes up here. We're going to go to downloads website files. Okay. Well, we don't want to save it into downloads folder. We're going to click on the browse button and in documents, we're going to create a new folder called website. And then we'll just click the button to select that folder and hit the extract button. And now, as you can see from the top there, we have in the documents folder, we have a website folder, which has all these beautiful pictures here that we can use in our website. We can then close this down. Okay. Now we're going to start using WordPress. We'll create a new tab. We'll click the plus button here in Chrome and we'll go to WordPress. The address is going to be wordpress.com. Hit the entry key. We're going to click the button there for start your website. And the first thing we have to do is create an account. So we'll put in our email address. We'll create a unique username. Note that your username has to be unique, which is not easy when there are already millions of other WordPress users out there. So use some weird letters and be sure to write it down. And then we create a password and you want something pretty good, pretty secure. And when you have something that looks good, then we can just click the button for create your account. Now we want to create a domain name. And WordPress tries to make it easier by asking you for a couple of terms that would describe your, that would describe your website. And we're creating a site that's going to be for a bed and breakfast, which is called the Make Believe Inn. So we'll type in the words Make Believe Inn. And since there might be other Make Believe Inns out there, we'll, we'll put a little description there where it is, which is in a small village. And then it comes up with possible domains. This one here is, looks pretty good. It's a bit long, but um, it's free for the first year. Although you have to pay for it after that. Oh, interesting. But we want, we want something that's really free. So we'll go down a little bit. And right here we have one here, which is a little bit longer and has the word WordPress in it. And that's why it's free and a little bit of advertising there. We'll click on the select button to get that one. Just like your username, your domain name has to be unique as well. And good luck trying to find a short, easy to remember, unique domain name these days. But this is just practice. So now it really doesn't matter how weird your domain name is. Then we have a couple of plans. Now in real life, you might want to choose one of these plans, but right now we're just trying to save money and, uh, and experiment with things. So we're going to click over here and click on start with a free site. 
Our goals are, of course, usually we want to promote either yourself or the business you're in, and we'll click continue. And what category are we in? Well, of course, we're in the travel industry, so we'll scroll down a little bit. So we see travel and transportation. We'll click that and click the OK button or continue button. And then it asks us to pick a design. Now, design is really a, a theme. There are about 30,000 different themes available for WordPress. Uh, these are a couple of them here. There's many, many, many more. Uh, we're, gonna, we're in the travel business, so let's click on the travel category here. And you can see there's three possible themes here. They look pretty similar. They're using the same pictures. Let's choose this one over here on the right. It looks fairly simple here. We'll just click this one here. And we can always change it. So here's an example of what it looks like. It has some dummy pictures and text. We're going to click on the continue button to continue on. Now WordPress is asking us to give a name to our site. Okay, so we'll click on the button there, name your site, and we'll call this the Make Believe In. And we'll delete what's there already. Okay, we'll put in the tagline there. There we go, and that's it. We'll just click on the All Done button. Okay, then it's asking us to save the settings, which we'll do. We'll click on the Save button to save it. it. Looks good. Oh, thank you. We'll click on Return to My Home. There we go. Okay, good. Now we're going to go on to the next step, which is to choose a real theme and to customize it. All right, now what we're going to do is choose a new theme, a better theme. This is the main menu for WordPress. On the left side, we have a bunch of different options here, and on the right side is whatever the details and whatever we've chosen on the left. What we're going to do is scroll down on the left side and go to Appearance. I'll click on the appearance and then appearance is a couple of different options there. We're going to go here and click on themes and it shows us a bunch of themes like we saw before. And we're going to search for a particular theme. We're going to click on the search bar here and type in the word 20. Okay. And we'll just hit the enter key to enter that in. And this shows a bunch of themes that all begin with 20s, 2011, 2012, all different themes that begin with 20. Now, these themes were designed by the company that produces WordPress. And there, there, are, there are thousands of themes, and a lot of them are, are made by or designed by other people. But these are designed by WordPress. And they're fairly simple and, and pretty easy to use. And um, what we're going to do is go down a little bit, go down a little bit. And we see one here for 2016. Okay, and that sounds a little dated. There's some later ones here, 2018, 2020, 2022. But this one here is a very good one. It's a nice stylish design, very simple, and but very effective. And it's good for training purposes. So I'm going to just click on this site to see it. And it shows me a better look, shows me some details about it, shows what it's going to look like on the different uh, platforms, on the, on the desktop, on the on tablet, on the phone and then shows the more details over here on the right side. And that looks fairly good. So what we're going to do is just click on the activate system. Now, if you, if you want to try it out, you could just click this button here, show a live demo, and it'll take you to an actual site and you could see and interact with it and see how the buttons work. But believe me, it works pretty nice. So we're going to click on the button here, activate this design. Okay. And it says, okay, well, we want to do, we're going to take the data here. No, well, we haven't put any data in. This is all dummy data. So we'll take the new dummy data here. We'll just click over here, replace my home page content with the other dummy data. And we'll just go in here, click activate 2016. Okay. And now what we'd like to do is to customize this site. Click on the customize button and a little hint comes up here. You can you know, change the design here. And sure, we'll click the thanks, got it. And this is the customizer menu. Now, every theme has a different menu of options. And this theme, we have these choices here. And let's go from top to bottom. We'll click on site identity. And you can see, well, we've already done the work here to make believe in is the title and the tagline is when you can't find a better place to stay. Okay, that's good. That's all we need to do here. So let's. Let's actually go down here. One more thing at the bottom is footer credit. This is the thing that appears at the bottom there. Let's change this right now. It's the, the default and let's see what other options we have. Well, we can, um, there's different options here. We could say, um, I like the third one here. Okay. This is all advertising, which is why they're giving us the site for free. So we're going to click on this one here, which is a little better here. WordPress.com website. Okay. We'll just click on that. And that's all we need to do here. So we'll click on save changes and we'll go back to the menu here. Click on the back button here. We don't want to close it. We're going to click on the back button. 
Colors and backgrounds will allow us to change the colors. And um, if, you're if, if you're interested in that, that's fine. You can do that. I, I'll take the colors as is. Fonts, again, another way you could do is change all the different fonts. But uh, again, I'm not an expert in fonts, so I'll just leave the fonts as they are. But the image here, that's something that's useful here. Let's click on the header image and let's change that. We have no image at the top. We have a picture down here at the bottom, but no picture up here at the top. And let's add that. So what we're going to do is click on the button that says add new image. And we don't have any files in our library yet. So we're going to just click on select files. And what we're going to do is go to the files that we downloaded before. We're going to click into the down, sorry, click into the documents folder. And in the documents folder, there's our website folder we created before. If we double click on that, there's all the things we did here. And there's a nice picture right over here, which actually fits pretty good because you can see here our storage dimensions, actually suggested dimensions are 1200 by 280 pixels. Okay, and actually this one here is, is 1200 pixels because I set it up before. So it fits perfectly. So all we need to do is just double click this and it comes in, it looks pretty nice. And we can click the button down here, select and crop. Now we don't need to crop it because it's exactly designed It's 1200 pixels. So it's perfectly, it fits perfectly. So we can click either one of these buttons. I'll click the blue one here. And now we have a new header image. Okay, fine, we'll go back here. Oh, let's save our changes. Click the save changes button. And we'll go back to the main, to the, to the customizer menu. And let's go down here to menus. Okay. Now menus, if, if you have multiple pages, menus are very, very important, but we're only going to have one page on this site. So we don't need any menus. So we'll just skip that. We'll go back into the menu and content options here. We can choose the different options here. Now this, these things will display on each of the text items that we put in our, our, our site. And these are mostly designed for blogs because you in blogs, you're going to have different uh, news items that appear and you want to see what date they were, they were set up, who wrote it and various things. We're not going to have that. We're just going to have like one page, very simple. So we really don't need these. So I'm just going to uncheck these. And for a regular website, you really don't need these. Okay. For a blog. Yes, but we don't have a blog. We just have a regular site. So we're going to uncheck those and we'll save the changes and go back to the customizer menu. Okay. We're finished with content options. We'll go to widgets. Widgets are basically little things that appear on the side of the screen. Uh, again, these are things that are mostly designed for, for blogs. We don't have a blog. We just have a regular site, so we don't need them. They could be useful. And we can talk about that a little bit later, but right now we don't need them. So we're just going to click on the arrow to go back into the menu. And then the last thing here is additional CSS. This is where you really want to get down into the code and actually do some really interesting things, but again, it's way beyond what we're going to talk about today. So we are basically finished here with the customizing of the theme. All we need to do now is just click the X to go back to the main menu. And there we are. Now what we're going to do is set up our welcome page on the site. But before we do that, let's confirm our email address. So what you need to do is go to your phone and check your email. There should be a message there from WordPress. And all you need to do is click on that little confirm button and then you'd be all set. Then you can close down your phone. Your phone you're not going to work on the phone. And now we're back here in the computer. And what we'll do here is we're going to create a page. So we'll go on the left side in the main menu there, we're going to click on pages and we'll click on the option here for, well, let's click on all pages, click on all pages and see what's there already. And there are no pages there. So we'll just click start a page. Okay. And there are many different designs. <laughs> Some of these are good. And if you have a lot of time, you can check them all out. But to make things simple, I'm going to just click on blank page. I'm going to just click the X here to close that window down. And this comes up here. We have our page on the left side and then some options. We have some properties over here for the page and then for blocks. Blocks, basically each paragraph, each picture is a block and we can have to have different properties for each block. But I'm going to go back to page and we're going to put a title on the page and the page is going to be called welcome. This is our welcome page with an exclamation mark. There we go. And let's put some text in right now. We're going to click right here and we could start typing, but we don't need to type because I have a file of all the text already there. So all we need to do is to go access that file. I'm going to go down here to the icon for file explorer, open it up and we're going to go to our documents folder. Okay. Into our website folder we created before. And in that there's a file here, a word file right here, website text. Okay. And all we need to do is just double click it, which will open up 
open the file up in Word, and there's our text already written. All we need to do is just copy and paste it. So I'm going to, or do we have the enable? Maybe just click on the enable editing button up here at the top, and I'm just going to select all the blue text. That's all the blue text there in that first section, not, not blog posts. We're just going to select the text at the top. Okay, all the homepage text, leaving out the title there, all the homepage text, including the three bullet points at the bottom there. And we're going to go up here and then just copy this. And there's several ways of copying it. I'm just going to use the shortcut Control C. Okay, and that's it. I'm finished with this now. I'm going to go up and just minimize this. Okay, and go back into my website and I'm going to paste it. So I'll click there where it says type slash and paste it. And for pasting again, the shortcut is Control V as in Victor. And look at that. It all comes in there. Look at that real nice. Okay, there we go. All we need to do now is click on publish. Click on publish. And our page is now available to the world. <laughs> okay, good. But we have to do one thing. We have to make sure that our page is actually visible. So let's go back to our main menu. We're going to go click on the W up here at the top. And then we're going to click on the view pages option here at the top. There we go. And you see, we only have one page. Okay. While we're here, let's create another page. Okay. I know we only have one page, but we'll create another page just in case for the future we're ready for it. We're going to click on add new page. And again, we'll use a blank design and this page will be for news. Now we don't have any news yet, but you know, in a year or two from now, you might want to have this. So I'm just going to type in the title there for news and that's all. I'm just going to go up here, click on the publish button, publish it again. That's it. Okay. Go back here, click on the W button to go back here and click on the click on the view pages button. And now we can see we have two pages. Now we want to make sure the website puts these pages in the right place. So we're going to go down to appearance again, go down to appearance and go to customize. Okay. Remember this menu here and we need to go down here to home page settings. So we'll click on home page settings. Okay. And it says, okay, well, what's your home page? Well, this is the page that people come to when they, they come to your site. And right now it's set to a bunch of posts. And these are things that WordPress has already set up, but we don't want those. We want the information that we set up. So we're going to click here where it says a static page. And then we're going to choose the page. And our page of course is going to be the welcome page. Okay, good. And now for our posts, if we ever do have posts in the future, we don't have it now, but if we do in the future, we're going to set it here. The post page is going to be our news page. And of course there's nothing on that page yet, but there might be sometime in the future. Okay. So our home page is going to be the welcome page. Our post page will be the news page and we are all finished with this. We can click on the save changes button and then we can go back to the customizer menu and we're finished with this. We can just close the menu, click the X in the upper left and we're back here. Okay, good. Now we want to take a look at what the site looks like. So we will go up here, click on the little option, the little icon here for the site. We'll click it and it shows it there and there's our text and pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay. But it's missing something. It's missing some nice pictures. And we have one picture up, but we need some more pictures. You want to have as many pictures as possible. And that's what we'll do right now. Okay. As you can see, we're missing something here. We're missing some pictures. You want to have as many pictures as possible. Yes, we have a header image up at the top, but we'd like to have some more pictures here. Now, what we want to do is go back to the editing mode and we have a nice little editing button right here. So all we need to do is click that. And now we can edit the page and the editor is set up to handle blocks. As you can see, if I click in the paragraph, that's a block. If I click in this paragraph down here, that's a block. There are a couple of controls here I can use to change the block. But what we want to do is add a block. We want to add an image block for the picture. So let's click someplace in the first paragraph. It doesn't matter where, just someplace in the first paragraph. And then we'll go up and click this plus button here, which will be, which will allow us to add a block. And as you can see, there are a number of different text blocks we can add. If I scroll down, you can see there's also a bunch of media blocks, images, galleries, and various things. And you can go down. There's more, some design blocks below that and some widgets even there too. 
So there are lots of different things, a lot of different blocks we can add to our text. But what we want to do is just an image. So we're going to go down here in the media group and click on the image block. And it says, okay, well, what is this image you want to add? Well, we want to upload it. So we click on the upload button and we click it again for some reason. And that takes us to our website folder that we used before. It remembers that. And we're going to click this, this picture right here, the hotel room picture. We're going to click on that and just click the open button. And there it is. It comes in like pretty nice. We have some controls up at the top. We can move it up and down in our, in our, our document here. But what we'd like to do is to move it over to the side. So we're going to click this button right here. This is the alignment button. Click right there. Right now it's aligned in the, there's no alignment. What we're going to do is go down here and click on the line right to align it on the right side. And then we're going to make it a little bit smaller. We're going to grab the sizing handle on the left side there and just bring it a little smaller. And you notice how the text immediately wraps around it. It's a very nice feature there. So we'll do that. That should be pretty good there. Good. Okay. That's one picture. Let's add some more. Let's uh, click someplace in the second paragraph. And again, we'll go up here, click the plus button, and we're going to do another image block. So we'll click on that and it, appear, it comes up here. And again, we're going to upload. And for some reason, we have to upload it twice. And click the upload button the second time. And then we're going to click this button, this nice little picture over here, a little bathroom picture. We'll click on that, click open, and it comes in there. And let's align this on the left side. So we'll click the alignment button and we'll just align this on the left side. And now we can grab the sizing handle on the right side and just move it down a little bit so it fits like so. That should be pretty good. I think we have enough pictures right now. And what I'd like to do now is just fix this up a little bit here. We want to go down here and we have a link here. Okay. This is a link to a, a location on Google maps and we want to make it a live link. So what I'm going to do is first select it. I'm going to double click Google and then just select all the words there. Okay. Select that whole thing there. Okay, good. And then what I'm going to do is copy that. I'm going to use the shortcut control C. So I'll just copy that. And then I want to create a link. So I'm going to click the link button right over here. Click the link button. And then I'm going to paste in the link. Do control V as in Victor. And all I have to do is just hit the enter key or click this little button over here to submit it. And now you can see it's a link. And if people click on it, it'll take them immediately to that particular location on Google Maps. I have another email link over here and I can do the same thing. Just double click on the first word there, drag it across to select the whole link and copy it. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the link button. And so all I need to do is just scroll over a little bit to the right and you can see there's our little button here, which will submit it or edit it. So I click on that and now it's a link. And I can just click away to close that window. Okay. So we made both of those links actually now hyperlinks and they work. Of course, the phone number there, we can't do anything with that yet. So we can leave that as is. Let's take a look at what a site's going to look like that. But first we're going to update the site, click on the update button in the upper right. And then we'll take a look at the site. We'll go and click on the W button in the upper left. We'll click on recent, no, oh, sorry. We'll click on view pages. Okay. There's our two pages. And then in the upper left here, we have our little link here for the site. So we can just click on that. And there's our site. We'll scroll down a little bit. There's our text. There's a nice picture. There's another nice picture. And there's our links. And our website is done. Congratulations. If you have followed along at home, you now have a website on the internet. All 5 billion internet users in the world can now access it, but none of them will. Why not? Well, your site has some serious competition. There are almost 200 million other websites out there. Of course, this is just a practice site. So who cares if nobody sees it? But when you finish your real website, how will you get people to notice it? For that, you will need to learn about search engine optimization, SEO. And there are plenty of SEO resources right here on YouTube. But that's in the future. Your goal right now is to build up your skills at creating a simple website. So be sure to practice. You can create several practice sites on WordPress and they are all free. And when you do create a site that you are proud of, be sure to send us a link in a comment. In the meantime, if you haven't already done so, please click the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.